should you take a gap year. A-level results day is just two days away and it's definitely worth weighing up your options. If you get your grades perfect, you're sorted, but what about the other routes? You might be wondering whether you can be bothered with clearing. You might also be wondering what it would be like to take a gap year, what that might look like. Now, both options have their own unique advantages and disadvantages, so I'm just here to have a little chat and hopefully we can help decide what's best for you. First, let's talk about clearing. So clearing is a fantastic opportunity to find a place at university if your initial plans didn't work out. And here's some pros and cons to consider. So advantages, number one, you get an immediate start. You can still start university this year, keeping your academic momentum going. Number two, there are a wide range of courses. Many unis offer a variety of courses through clearing, some of which might be perfect for you and you didn't even believe it at first. Number three, there's less waiting, so you don't have to wait another year to begin your uni experience and you can start moving towards those career goals. Essentially, you don't have to worry about filling the gap. If you take a gap here, there's a lot of pressure to make sure your CV looks busy with skills and experiences you've gained in the middle. It can look a little weird with a random year long gap and universities would definitely want to know what you've been up to. And then obviously you've got the disadvantages. So firstly, you've got limited choices. Some courses that you like the look of might be full, which kind of limits your options a little bit. And then you've got to make quick decisions. You'll need to make them quickly and that can be quite stressful, especially if you've not planned ahead. And then there's the idea of preparation time. So there's less time to prepare for university life, especially if you find a place last minute. Stuff like accommodation, getting to know the area, for example. Accommodation can get full, so you may have to look at finding some private accommodation if that's the case as well. So those are some things to consider about clearing. Obviously, every person's experience is different. And you'll know from our other videos, if you've seen them, that sometimes clearing can truly be the best thing that happens to a person. So it's important to really think about your options there. Now next, I want to talk about a gap year. Taking a year out can be a really valuable experience, but it also comes with, again, its own set of pros and cons. So let's have a look at advantages of a gap year. There's a real opportunity for personal growth, whether that's time to travel, gain work experience or volunteer, and they can be incredibly enriching. Travelling teaches you so much about new places and people. Work experience gives you an opportunity to hopefully make some money. Volunteering means you may be able to support communities that really need some extra help. And there are so many skills to be gained in all of those routes and it's up to you how you fill that time. You could even aim to do a little bit of everything. Next, you've got the idea of an improved application. There's an opportunity to retake exams or gain new qualifications, which ultimately strengthens your uni application for next year. So retaking exams is good in the sense that even if you get a worse grade, you can still choose to stick with the original one, but it may be expensive as entering for exams costs money if you're not doing it within a sick form or a college setting anymore. But anyway, even if you don't want to retake exams or gain more qualifications, if you fill your gap year with loads of amazing experiences, even this can strengthen your application too. And then finally, you've got the potential of clearing your head a little bit. A year out can give you time to reflect on your goals and make more informed decisions about your future. So there's some real positives to a gap year and some really important things for you to think about and plan if that's a route you've really been considering. Now, we've also got the disadvantages of a gap year as well. So let's take a look at those. Firstly, you've got the idea of breaking momentum. It can be really challenging to return to academic life after a break. It's so hard getting back into study mode when you've been away from it for a while. You've also got costs to consider. Travelling and other gap year activities can be expensive. Dreams of heading out to faraway places are all well and good, but they absolutely come with costs. You've also got to think, is it actually a waste of your time? Because sometimes we have ideas and plans of doing grand and amazing things, but they sometimes don't actually materialise. You might have an idea of all the things you want to do, but you have to think practically, are you going to be able to actually do them? And then you've got the fact that your graduation would be delayed. So your entry into the workforce or further education will be delayed by a year. Now, this can be hard if you're the kind of person like I was that ends up comparing themselves and their journeys to others, which obviously you shouldn't do, but we're maybe all a little bit guilty of it at times, especially in the world of social media. Ultimately, the decision between clearing and a gap year depends on your personal circumstances and goals. If you're eager to start uni right away and keep your momentum, clearing might be the way to go. However, if you're looking for personal growth, time to improve your application, or simply just need a break, a gap year might be really beneficial for you. Remember, both paths can lead to success. It's about choosing what feels right for you, Take some time to consider your options, talk to your teachers, your family, your friends, and make a decision that aligns with your goals and well-being. Good luck with your decision. If you have any questions or need more advice, please leave a comment below. We're here to support you every step of the way. 
Don't forget to like, follow and share for more tips and support.